Welcome Mr. Shirasal uh, to TVGME and to the conference on standards in imaging technology. Uh, since you are in the helm of the affairs and you have the complete understanding of you know, how things are working, we would like to understand that how the infrastructure connectivity you know, is going to be managed in such a country you know, where the size is big and heterogeneity is big. And what are the three important uh, immediate priorities for Niti Aayog in this direction? Mobility and infrastructure connectivity are emerging as something which is very much needed now as a common citizen of the country is feeling the need and it is also needed for the economic growth of the country. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the now the infrastructure connectivity or the new mobility, it has to be with reference to the people, it has to be the people centric now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the individual has to get a solution where he is uh, get the convenience and the movement from point to point. So that is what is uh, now required, that is now is what is uh, demanded to the intelligent uh, at, uh, intelligent transport uh, System. systems. Mm -hmm. So that's what is uh, happening and the three most important thing if you ask me uh, from the policy makers or the <coughs> think tanks uh, perspective then I would say that uh, uh, number one uh, the transition from the internal combustion engine to a cleaner mode of uh, uh, mobility, a cleaner mode of energy should be as smooth as possible. Mm -hmm. We should transit it quickly and uh, we have a very little lock-in uh, effect with very few number of uh, passenger vehicles per individual. So we can straight away, India can straight away leapfrog uh, from uh, internal combustion to a cleaner energy mode of uh, transportation. Mm -hmm. And uh, there uh, now a lot of work is going on the sources of the energy. So the second thing would be that uh, to look at it as to what uh, sources of energy or the new technology comes up uh, along with the lithium ion, mm -hmm. if there are going to be hydrogen fuel or other things, mm -hmm. those things uh, should be promoted. And uh, lastly, I would say that how do we provide the intelligent transport systems making use of the digital technology as uh, quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Indian conditions are different from what they are in the developed countries or in the European uh, countries. We have a larger hinterland, we have uh, constraints on our uh, infrastructure and uh, there are uh, cultural and uh, uh, individual differences. There are so much of the diversity is in the country. So keeping that in mind, uh, designing an intelligent transport system for the entire country is a challenge and that's where probably we have to put a lot of emphasis on. Okay. Uh, the, the, the way the focus is on the electric vehicles and e-mobility part, uh, they will certainly be using the electricity and uh, we have the two main sources, you know, one is the conventional source and second is the renewable source. Is the government uh, trying to push both things together, you know, the generation of the renewable energy as well as the using the renewable energy for the electric vehicle usage? Now, you, your question is extremely pertinent because if we change from uh, gas or the petrol to another source of uh, fossil fuel of energy, yeah. then uh, it, it doesn't make any sense. So that is very extremely pertinent question you have asked. Uh, but India has also uh, has a target of 176 gigawatt of uh, new and renewable energy for which mm -hmm. our uh, Honorable Prime Minister has given a call to be mm -hmm. achieved within next now <coughs> within next three years. So when we move from uh, current sources of energy to add on to 176 gigawatt of uh, new and renewable sources of energy, then the share of the fossil fuel in the entire energy generation is certainly going to go down. <laughs> we look at it by 2025, it should be around 50% uh, from the current uh, 67 or uh, somewhere around that uh, okay. figure. So it should, it should certainly go down. And the third thing is we are endowed with a lot of uh, solar uh, energy, solar uh, energy or solar power can be generated from that. So a lot of work is going on where uh, directly the storage and the battery going to be charged from the solar uh, panels, solar energy mm -hmm. and even some uh, companies are trying that it may not directly be fed into the grid and even could be used before that. Now, the, uh, fortunately, the power ministry has also is also coming out with the solutions where it may be that uh, if the source of energy is clean and uh, new and renewable energy, then it can directly be used for the storage and for driving the vehicles or uh, adding on to the mobility. You, so we are extremately conscious of that and uh, it just makes a sense 
that we must have a cleaner energy to charge the battery or the charge the source of energy mm -hmm. to drive the mobility. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I think that's a very good thought. You know, you people have yes. already initiated. Yes. And I, I'm sure that you know it is going to take us to the next level very fast. Yes. We don't have to follow what West is doing. We can create our own way of you know operating. Yeah, the mobility in India certainly has to have the solutions mm -hmm. which are different from the being followed uh, globally, and that certainly requires. Uh, uh, holistic thinking and taking into account the Indian conditions. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, thoughts and also sparing time for us. Thank you.